Okay, so um, he continues here, and we're talking about multiples of pi over 4 and pi over 6. Um, so what we find, let's see. There, we're looking at, we've got a radius of 1, we've got this height of 1 half. The missing side will be root 3 over 2. Um, we could do Pythagorean theorem to figure this out, or we could recognize that um, in my triangle, if I have an angle here and across from it is 1 half and the hypotenuse is twice as big, then what we have is this is a 36, that's a 30, 60, 90, or root, uh, pi over 6, pi over 3, um, and, it's, and then it's, you could say x, 2x, and then this is x root 3 or we would say 1, 2, root 3, however you want to set that up. So this is this length right here is going to be this number times root 3. So I would call this root 3 over 2. Um, and so the coordinates to this point P are root 3 over 2 comma positive 1 half. And, um, oh, so he used Pythagorean theorem, which is great. And then, okay, so cosine of pi over 6 is the x value, and so that's root 3 over 2. This is great, I just teach it differently, and I don't think my kids would need this video this at this point in this year, because we're already beyond this point. Um, let's see, we found two values of x when solving. Oh, okay. So his point is, we found that it was plus or minus. Um, where did he come back here? He said it was plus or minus root 3 over 2. Well, here's the plus, and the minus goes this way. So, okay. So what I like to do with this is... Um, Use, um, use the fact that this is a reference angle, is what we talk about in uh, my classroom, to use this to reflect, reflect, reflect. So Q is going to be 5 pi over 6, R is going to be 7 pi over 6, and S is going to be 11 pi over 6. Actually, right now, we're doing more problems where we have to move in the negative direction. So S is also, say, negative 11, I lied, negative pi over 6. Um, okay, so the coordinates, but this is... Um, yeah, anyway, we reflect, so the x value is now negative, but the y value is still positive. In this quadrant, they're both negative, and in this quadrant, the x is positive, but the y is negative. Okay, um, and then we look at the pi over 4 family, which gives us um, 1 pi over 4, 3, 5, and 7 pi over 4. Um, I have other videos where I teach this differently. So it's the same concepts, um, but I bring, I introduce this in a kind of different fashion. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I just wanted to work through his worksheets. If you go back and just Google anything of mine that's unit circle, you'll find what I'm talking about. Um, you, root two, negative root 2 over 2. These are both negative in quadrant 3. And then quadrant 4, the x is positive, but the y is negative. Okay, and then I bet he's going to do the pi over 3 family. Let's see if I'm right. Dun, 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 the pi over 3 family. Okay, so here's um, 1 pi over 3. This becomes 2 pi over 3. This is 4 pi over 3 down here, and here we have 5 pi over 3. Oh, I guess I could write. So Q is 2 pi over 3. R is 4 pi over 3. S is 5 pi over 3. So we have, what is this? Well, this coordinate, it's now the X is negative, but the Y is positive. The x is negative and the y is positive. The x is positive and the y is negative. And then, um, lovely, and then he puts everything together on one circle, which is fantastic. Um, and it should be something my kids know. If you don't know it really well, you really got to work on it because um, it doesn't go away. Okay, so then what is he telling us? Oh, good. Okay, well, let's do this last little bit, and then, well, that's the end of his notes. So sine of 2 pi over 3. Where is 2 pi over 3? It's over here. Sine is the y value. I went up a lot. I went back a little and up a lot. So this is root 3 over 2. Um, sine of 7 pi over 4. Where is 7 pi over 4? It's right here. That's the root 2 over 2, and its sine is the y value. It was in a negative direction. Okay, cosine of pi. Where is pi? Pi is over here. What's its cosine value? Cosine is x. We went negative 1. Okay, cosine of 5 pi over 3. Where is 5 pi over 3? Do -do 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 -do. Right here. Cosine is the x. We went in a positive direction a little bit. It's 1 half. Okay, um, cosine of 5 pi over 4. 
Here's 5 pi over 4, cosine's the x, we went in the negative, and it's the root 2 over 2. Oop, I forgot to write the negative, there it is. Okay, cosine of 4 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3 is right here, cosine is the x, it's negative 1 half. Sine of 3 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2 is right here, sine is the y value, that's negative 1. Sine of 0, here's 0, sine of 0 is 0. Cosine of 11 pi over 6, here's 11 pi over 6. Cosine is the x. We went in the positive direction a lot, so that's a positive root 3 over 2. I started to look at my hand, my handwriting and then in the video, and I couldn't, do, <laughs> and I couldn't do what I was doing. Okay, 7 pi over 6 puts us over here, um, and we want sine. That's the y value. We went down a little, so that's negative 1 half. Cosine of 2 pi over 3 is up here. Cosine is the x. We went back a little bit. That's negative 1 half. And cosine of pi over 2, pi over 2 is right here, cosine is the x, our x value is 0, we didn't move left or right, that's equal to 0. Now, I expect my kids to be able to do all of this, um, especially after some practice, without writing anything down. I expect them to see this unit circle in their head. We do a lot with like, okay, show me with your arm, where is this? And they, anyway, they hold up their arm to match whatever angle they are in the unit circle. Um, and then they should know what these values are. They are critical and they don't go anywhere. So we need them the rest of the year, I think. But I don't really know the AP world yet. I'm learning the AP world. Um, but everything I have taught in pre-cal for the many years I've been teaching it I require this for the rest of the year. All right. Subscribe. Go practice. Let me know how I can help you.